All right, we're here with Taylor Warner, winner of the women's 5,000 meters. 1503, that's a PB, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. I'll take it. <laughs> Do you feel like that's been a long time coming or? Yes, yes. I turned pro back uh, in December of 2020 and I've like really struggled since then. And so today I knew I was in good shape. Um, yeah, it's, it's really relieving, honestly. It's like, finally, yes. So got the U.S. standard, which I think is like 1507 or 1509 or something. So you got that out of the way. You weren't that far off the world standard. So what kind of now that you got this like great race behind you, a win, like how do you now refocus towards the rest of the season and how does this sort of inform your goals? Yeah, so this race we were coming down from altitude, kind of like mid-training block, um, not really going for a time necessarily, just a um, good way to break up training and just learn some tools. And so uh, my teammate Natasha and I, we came in and we were like, we really want to bust out the last three laps, um, learn how to kick because that's kind of how championship style is. And we found ourselves in the front from the start, so it kind of changed it. But with uh, about a K to go, I kind of was wrapping my head like, okay, this is when that move is going to be made. And I made a move and I was able to hold it. And um, there's a lot more there. So I think we'll race again before USA is trying to get that standard. But today, just getting the goal to get tools and then coming with a PB, like that is awesome. So I'll take it for sure. Nice. So yeah. you are training, you have a lot of great training partners, training with Puma down yes. in North Carolina. Like yes. tell me about your environment and like how is that kind of building you into the runner that you are and that we saw today? Yeah. Um, so right now we're training in Mammoth Lakes, California. Uh, my teammates, Coco, uh, Natasha and Fiona. and. Those girls have brought up the best of me and really got me through this struggle the past couple years. Um, I've been really confident again and training with them has just been the best opportunity and we bring the best out of each other and at the end of practice we're all just high-fiving and it's just such a great environment and um, with the coaches and everything it's just been literally a dream come true so um, yeah it's fun to come down and race well. <laughs> good feeling For so sure. tell me what it was like to then come into this environment and to be at the front of the race kind of like working together with one of your teammates that give you the like that same kind of confidence oh for sure like i mean i'll be completely honest i didn't feel good i mean i haven't run this fast in a long time since college and so um you kind of forget how that feels and so like i was kind of lagging back and forth but like my teammates right in front of me i'm like we run together every single day like i know i can be here and then when we had two laps to go, I had that adrenaline spike again, and it's just good to kind of refresh that and get a good feel for it again. So, okay, tell me about your own personal, maybe professional running goals, maybe your own goals, maybe your mental goals for the rest of the season. Yeah, I mean, this year for me is kind of a comeback year. For sure. I mean, it definitely is. Um, and so for me, I want to go into USA's and just be really confident again. Um, whatever that result is, I, I mean, I would love to make a team, of course, but at the end of the day, you just have to do the best you can. and. Um, if I can leave that and be doing well and then race the end of summer, I'd love to like go to Europe or race some of those big races and just really just have a good track season. That's all I want this year and um, to be able to build off that and go into next year on a high for sure. Well, um, I'll take that, yeah. Having a win is a very nice way to kind of start that off. But I'll take first it. win as a pro or I think um, it was a road actually, race? So I got hurt in April last year. So this is my first full outdoor race in over a year and so this is, yeah, this is a good momentum for sure. <laughs> and do you feel like 5K is like where it's at for you right now? Do you, uh, I, there are some longer girls in your group. Like, yeah. do, you, do you feel that like push and pull or is it like 5K for me? I feel like the 5K is my bread and butter. I, I do want to get a 15. I'm getting a little on the speeder side of things. I'm like, ooh, that could be fun. But for right now, yeah, the 5K is definitely like the, the one we'll call it. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll see you at USA's. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.